All right, guys, so I want to go over the Success Club System Business Activity Tracker that Beachbody came out with this year in 2019. Um, I think it's pretty awesome and wanted to go over what I think, um, how you can use this and what each of these activities actually means. Um, so first, you write the name, your date. You're going to listen to the National Wake Up Call every single week. Um, I highly recommend listening to it when you are folding laundry, when you're driving, just on the go so that it doesn't seem, you know, it's not feeding into your business activities, but you're also listening to the stories. And for me personally, um, hearing the successful coaches stories and hearing where they came from really helps inspire me. So it's not just about um, the tips, but the tips are super useful too. So you want to fast forward through the announcements and it's really just a short 15 to 20 minutes. So adding your why here, I think is really important at the top because every time you get stuck down here, reading your why again, and I recommend reading it every single day is awesome. So this is not a lot of room, but I would just put high level, like why do you want to be a coach? What's your vision? What do you, what are, do you see for yourself in the future? Um, do you want financial freedom? Do you want time freedom? Do you want to be home with your kids? Do you want, etc.? So all of like, just write a few bullet points. My target market, this is also super important. So who are you talking to when you write your posts? Who are you, who are you looking for? So example would be for me, I'm a runner, I'm a twin mom, I have three kids, I'm super busy. Um, I used to work in corporate finance. So I might be talking to either a current professional or former professional who has kids and is loves to run, but they now don't have a lot of time to train super heavily and they need something to supplement their workouts or to replace their running from, um, supplement their running or replace their running. And they also want a community. They want to be, they're, you know, feeling lonely in this, this journey of motherhood. So that's who I'm going to be talking to. So first of all, this starts on a Thursday because that's the day that we get paid and that the new week of Beachbody starts. Um, and the first and foremost, you're going to want to work out and drink your shake because those are super important. Um, and this is where we get to the connect, invite, and follow-up section. So first thing I want to say is please complete this entire section, everything before moving on. Even if you don't get through it on Thursday, just keep going until you hit the end. Then the next day go. Because if you don't, if you do these first sections every day, but you never do these three, your business is going to stall. You have to do them all. It's very important. Um, so the first thing on here is initiate conversations and add followers. These things all don't need to be done at the same time. So this says it's giving you a rough estimate of an hour and 40 minutes, but you do not need to do all of this at the same time. And if you only have 10 minutes, don't not do it. Um, I mean, if you only have 10 minutes, maybe you do this, the social media post. Um, but set a timer and just work through it. So initiating connections and adding followers. If you're a Facebook person, this is going to be maybe going to your friends list, finding people you haven't connected with in a long time, going to their page, commenting and liking on some recent posts, and perhaps starting a conversation with them. Anyone you start a conversation with, I encourage you to add their name to the second page of the activity tracker and put their name when you started the, um, just put their name first. When contacted, I would say is when you're going to put, um, when you invite them. So just put their name here so that you know to invite them tomorrow, today, another day, but um, that you initiated that conversation. That's personally how I would do it. You could also use this only, the second page to just do invites. So um, if on Instagram, initiating connections, adding followers, a couple ways you can do that. You can add followers by going to find an account that resonates with you, that you really enjoy, and that you feel like um, it just basically describes um, maybe not your target market, but where you want, where you think your target market is. So is your target, if your target market is runners, you might target a running account, um, that's female runners. Um, but if your target market is, um, not runners, obviously you're not going to go to that account. So you have to know what your target market is in order to know where to find new connections. And you can also use hashtags. Um, but I generally find that people using hashtags are try people trying to grow their accounts, which a lot of times are um, runners, or not runners, are coaches or someone else in multi-level marketing. So if you only use hashtags, you might feel like everyone you come in contact with is also trying to sell you something and that can be discouraging. So just remember there's so many people out there and um, by going to, 
to lists of other people and looking at their followers, that can be a better way. Um, I think using hashtags is also a good way, but I think you should spread it out. Um, so yeah, go to some, an account that you, um, maybe you like following and then go to their followers and then go down, look who's following them and anyone who's, who's public, um, follow, you can follow them, comment on their posts, like them. Um, and you could add, this is, so you could add them just to this list. You have to decide how you want to make your system. I personally use a Google doc and I write down their name. And then when I initiate, when I comment or like, I add an X in a column. And then when I send a message, I add an X. When I start a conversation, I add an X in the next column. And then when I finally invite them, I add an X in that column for inviting to either coaching or challenge group. I have two different columns. So that helps me remember. And then a follow-up column. I personally like that, but you can also use this and figure out your own system. It does have a follow-up column. So it depends on if you're a pen and paper person or not. So initiate, just creating those things. So don't spend all your time doing this because if you spend all your time doing this, you might start getting discouraged because you're not growing as quickly as you want. You just have to remember that Instagram growth is a slow and steady thing. You have to show up every day, do a little bit, and you'll be rewarded, I promise. Second is do a social media post showcase the benefits of your healthy lifestyle or how's it called action. So I would say five social media posts to your main feed that are nice quality photos a week is a great goal. Um, just make sure that they um, are, I would say two to three are related to Beachbody and then two to three are related to your lifestyle. And some of those can be, you know, a struggle that you're going through. So say, let's go back to the example of, you know, maybe you're a new mom. So maybe your post is a picture of your cute child or you and your child. And you're saying, um, talk about, you know, you're going through this five month sleep regression and you want tips. Asking for tips is a great way to get engagement on your posts, um, which leads to more people seeing it because uh, Instagram will boost those photos. Um, so Make this a nice, healthy mix of showing what you're doing with Beachbody and giving some advice or tips or motivation and then, or doing a call to action and then mixing that in with your lifestyle. Um, Saturday and Sundays are, or Saturdays are a great time if you want to just post like what you're doing that day with your family. Um, and then call to actions are great for Sunday nights or Monday mornings. Um, but just kind of look at your profile and like see, you know, are you showing like all these things that you, your target market um, is appealing to are those showing up on your um, main feed because when these connections or follow these people that you're following on Instagram go back to look at your page to decide if they want to follow you they're going to see these posts and so they want to they need to match um, kind of what your mission is and what you're doing and they need to be nice photos so that they want to follow you and you look professional um, so the Instagram stories these are the ones that don't need to be as professional they don't need to be as um, thought out in advance. They can be just daily like clips. Um, if you're busy at work, you could potentially like on Sundays, maybe like just make seven stories with um, motivational quotes and throw one of those in throughout the workday. You can like share your workday lunch every day, um, just showing like what you're eating, maybe even include the recipe if you have it quickly or say D DM me for the recipe. Um, you can do calls to action and polls on here to invite people to your challenge group. Share, I think it's important to share your workout clips or at least a photo of your workout every single day that you do it because then people know that you're being consistent, that you're living the lifestyle, that you're doing what you say, um, that you're showing up. And don't think that people are going to get bored of it or over it because consistency is truly, people love consistency and routine. Most people do. And I have an account that I follow and she eats peanut butter, banana toast or cinnamon every single morning. And she posts at like 5 a.m. her morning routine. And I see it every day, but I look, I enjoy watching it and seeing her consistency. So don't feel like you're overkill by sharing the workout clips every day. So this next section is going to be um, responding to likes, comments, or views. So obviously as you grow, you're going to have more of these, but just responding to people who comment, responding to people who respond to your stories. Um, if you get some new people that are liking your stuff or viewing your stuff, then those are great people to add to your list and then go to their page, comment on their stuff, initiate a conversation and get them down on your list so that you're creating that relationship. 
but that doesn't have to be 25 minutes. Depends on the day, um, but as long as you're doing some of that. Um, and then this is the most important one, but this import this one does it does um, you know stand on you initiating new conversations and you you know doing this step because you won't have anyone to invite if you haven't done the other things. So I would recommend doing the inviting maybe first or second out of this list. Um, I would say definitely do that before the social media post because I want you to be fresh, excited, um, do this at the time of day that is best for you in terms of like, I, by the end of the day, I do not wanna be doing my invites. So I try to do mine as early as possible in the day. Um, and then afterwards, following up with people. So inviting, this is something you're inviting people that, um, that you've had these conversations with in the past. And like, for example, we had coaching opportunity this week and I literally just invited, invited 15 people yesterday from Instagram. And I seriously, you know, we'd had conversations in the past and a few of them, I just flat out said, you know, like when I think about who I wanna work with in coaching, I think you would be great. Um, you'd fit right in with our team. Have you ever thought about it? And yeah, some of, a lot of those people, some of those people I, never got back to me. Um, some of those people said, oh, no, thank you. Um, thanks for asking, but they seemed like at least flattered and inviting people. You have to remember what you do now is not going to show up right away. When you invite, if you were to invite hundred people this month out of the blue with no, never having done it in the past, you're definitely going to see a lower rate of people signing up with you. than if you have been doing this for a few months, it grows over time. You, not only do you get better at inviting and you figure out what's resonating with people, but you're also getting people responding to your previous invites um, because it can take time. People might be like, oh, oh, I do want to join this at some point or, oh my gosh, I didn't even realize that you did that and or that it was an opportunity for me to be a coach. So I'm going to start watching you now and watching this girl and see what she's doing. And then um, as you're showing up and doing this, doing the stories and doing the social media and then continuing the conversation with them in the follow-up, um, then they might come around. Not everyone's gonna come around. There's some people that will never come around. There's some people that may unfollow you and you just can't worry about it because up here, this, your vision, your why, that is more important than anyone, especially strangers unfollowing you. Like who cares? They're just not, they're never gonna buy, they're never gonna become a coach and you're never gonna be able to help them and that's fine. You wanna help as many people as possible um, but you can't be offended when people don't want to join. It's just part of the game and part of, um, you just got to kind of get thick skin about it. And remember when you invite people, they might be at a stoplight when they saw your message. They might be like with their kids. So this follow-up section is really important because not only if they did see your invite and they're like, Oh, I don't know what to say. I feel a little awkward, which can happen because some people just, um, you know, if they're people pleasers, especially they want to like be able to please you, even if they don't want something, by following up with them and just saying, hey, I'm not sure if you saw my message. Um, if now is not a good time, can I follow up with you in a month for my next group? Or you can say, um, or just completely change the subject, respond to one of their stories or ask them a question, um, especially stories if they do stories is a great way. Um, and then they might see your post from before and then respond to them and be like, oh, sorry, I didn't respond. Um, you know, this is why I'm not interested or I am interested. And I've literally had people I've invited to co invited to things two and a half years ago who have come back and joined. Um, so what you're doing is planting the seeds now and letting them know that you are a serious coach. I think invite show people that you are serious about this, that you're not just posting on social media, that you actually are going after it and that you are going to treat them great in the challenge group because you have diligence and that you're um, going to show up for them. And I think that, um, you know, there's plenty of people who join these companies and they just kind of dabble and that doesn't, that doesn't show, that doesn't make people want to join them. So I think showing by inviting, you're showing people that you're serious and that you're someone who's going to be sticking around and that they can trust you. Um, so yeah, that's this section. This is by far the most important section. And like I said, do if you get down to here and then you're like, crap, I don't have time today. Next day, Friday, pick it back up here and then start over. So maybe Friday you'll get only to here because you've made your way all the way down. And then Monday comes around and you might start Monday. I guess you could do that. I guess you could do it like that. So you could like get to here and then you could go like this and then Monday start here and then 
whatever, but just make sure that you're not, that you're filling it out. It depends on your style. Do not skip this. Um, so getting people results, contributing to your challenge group, obviously setting up the challenge group post is something that takes some time and hopefully you're, if you're co-hosting with people, it's not as big. Um, and then just going in and liking and commenting, definitely recommend doing your challenge group posts when you're, you know, at the end of the night or like sometime when it's just admin time and then contributing your challenge group just throughout the day when you have the time. Um, this shouldn't be a huge time suck. And obviously it's something that it's going to take you, you'll get better at with time. Recognizing achievement and then responding to questions from customers and coaches. This is going to take up more time as your team and your um, client base grows. Um, so you might not even have this every single day, but just remember you can recognize the achievements of even your fellow coaches, even if they're not um, in your downline, and you can recognize the achievement of your clients and customers. Um, and then also like in this respond to questions from customers and coaches, you can also like do your, if you're going to, if you're hosting a challenge group, like checking in with your challengers every week is always a good idea. Like personally via email or, um, not every single week, but at least after the first week. Um, and then obviously before or before their Shakeology renews and invite them to coaching personal development. So this can be the national wake up call. This can be a book you're reading. This can be anything like that. Um, and then at the end of the week, you can add up what your activity was um, and then just save these. You can get like Kelly, one of the coaches on our team got this bound. Um, some of the coaches did. So I hope that was helpful. And just remember, make this a priority um, no matter what your goal, no matter what your goal is. If your goal is truly to make this into a full time um, income in the long run, I highly recommend filling out the entire row every day, Monday through Friday. If this is like you're a hobby coach, then maybe try to aim for like three columns a week or two columns a week even. But just don't skip. Don't skip. Make sure that you're filling them all out. Um, that's important. So if you have any questions, you can feel free to ask me um, and I will definitely get back to you.